All right, you know that sound. Time for the star of the night. It's Friday Night Lights. There's only one month left in the high school football stadium. Many of our teams in Central Texas are marching towards the playoffs. And Class 6A, Midway and Temple are hoping to make those postseason dreams a reality. They'll face off tonight at the home of the Wildcats, and that's where we find our very own Zoe Del Rosario. Zoe, big game tonight for the Wildcats and also Temple. Hey, Thank you, Bailey. Day. Yes, I can't believe the playoffs are right around the corner. The Temple Wildcats hosting Midway Panthers here tonight. I'm joined by Temple head coach Scott Stewart. Now, coach, you're four and one in the season, one and zero in district. What a turnaround from last year. How do you do? You describe your team's effort so far? Well, I mean, uh, you know, we spent a lot of time on on culture and about uh, taking a look at, at, at evaluating, you know, kind of why things happen and. and uh, what we could have done better, and that's that's all we focus on. Uh, we're not talking about playoffs. We're not talking about gold balls. Um, we're going to try to be better today than we were yesterday. We're going to try to be better tomorrow than we were today. And if you do that enough times, uh, you do it the right way, you might find yourself in some conversations towards the end of the season. All right, and you had a bye week last week, so how, how much of a boost is that tonight? You know, your guys are coming up fresh, reset. Well, I hope so. I mean, I'm a routine guy, so I prefer to not have bye weeks, but if we're going to if we're going to have them, which the powers of B say we're going to have them, uh, you know, we focus on fundamentals. We go back to, to building blocks. We go back to why we take a step. We go back to taking those steps. You know, some of the do, some of the drills we kind of do every day. Uh, we go back and reteach them at the nth degree and, and work on blocking, tackling, catching, and, and throwing. And uh, that's what we do for about the first three days. We may have taken a look at midway maybe Thursday or Friday of last week. Um, but I don't like getting out of routine. We usually get three or four days to prepare for a team, so we might have added a day, but we're not going to spend two weeks on, on one team because then that can screw you up with your preparation moving forward. Now, Coach, yeah, midway there with a solid defense. Head coach Joe Gillespie, former TCU defensive coordinator. So how do you put up points tonight? Well, you, you've got to be patient. You've got to grind. They're not going to give up big plays. They don't, or at least they haven't. Um, you've got to be able to stay ahead of the chains and, and keep the, the playbook open. But they are very sound. They don't make mistakes. They, they, they're they going to play solid football until you make a mistake, or at least the, the, you know, thus far this year, is, that's their MO. Is They're, they're going to play solid. They're not going to make mistakes. And when you do, they capitalize. And so we're going to try to have to minimize mistakes, uh, stay ahead of the chains, keep the playbook open. Well, thank you so much, Coach. Good luck out there. The Temple Wildcats hosting Midway Panthers at 7.30. We'll have all those highlights for you coming up at 10. And that's it for sports. Congratulations to our Player of the Week, Brian running back Javalen Wade. The junior dominated on the ground with 297 yards rushing and three touchdowns last week. That helped the Vikings pick up a crucial district win over Coppers Cove 70-49. Congratulations again, Brian's Javalen Wade, our Gridiron Player of the Week.